Okay, so before the video starts, I just want to get one thing out of the way real quick. Please do not pick a side yet in this situation. I see people hating on Tifu. I see people hating on Banks, FaZe Clan, saying everything like that. Please just do not take a side until Tifu officially responds to the situation. Okay, anyway, I just want to get that out of the way real quick before you watch the video. Enjoy. Okay, so is Tifu lying or is FaZe Banks lying? FaZe closely responds to the whole entire thing and an esports official, a guy who knows a lot and has been in experience with the esports community, he responds to the whole entire thing. I'm going to show you guys clips, everything like that in this video. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy, Amagaric here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, like I said, I'm going to share with you guys everything that's going on by far with today. There's a lot of things I told you guys going to keep you out there with the whole situation. If you guys want to stay updated, everything regarding this Fortnite news in game of heist, just guys hit the subscribe button if you're new as always i'd love to have you on this channel but with that said let's get right into the news Alrighty guys, so there's one thing I forgot to mention. If I informed you on any information that you didn't know before, make sure you drop a like on the video in return and let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on the situation. Of course, I'm always interested in what you guys think, so let me know down below in the comments your thoughts. So now I'm going to get into FaZe Cloaks. He was actually streaming earlier today and he addressed the situation, but not too much because obviously he can't because of his contract. But I'm going to share with you guys what he said and he's actually siding with Tifu. Enjoy the clips. And I'll talk to you guys right after. I'm not going to be playing any Friday Fortnite at all. Or I'm going to box. I'm not going to be playing in the upcoming Friday Fortnite. have to. Does that make sense? Banks should be getting blamed for stuff he had no control over. There you go. That'd be go. Okay, what do you think about... Turn is not wrong, though. About a lot. Think about another one I like. I can't talk about anything because it's against my contract, but I posted a statement on Twitter. Make sure you guys check it out. So we can actually see by these two clips that Cloaksy is actually siding with Tifu and that he knows he's right and that Bangs is not blamed for any of this. He's just a guy who's taking the bullet for everything because he's the big figure of FaZe. And now I'm going to be talking about what that professional esports guy actually had to say. Bad situation. He went over FaZe Bangs' tweets. He went over the video. Roll the clips and I'll talk to you guys right after. So I'm editing this video right now and I just realized that there might be a couple curse words here and there so letting you guys know that if you're one of those guys who doesn't like that, there's going to be a couple here and there in the clip. I just want to let you guys know. Give you a heads up. Okay, anyway, enjoy the clips. That, uh, I'll tell you right here, uh, he, he, we know, we, we just caught FaZe in their first lie. This is 100% a lie. Um, to have all this dropped on my head without a warning, dude. It says right here that you were served notice as FaZe Clan on September 26th or 2018. You had a letter of this warning a year ago. Right here. On or about September 26, 2018. Um, FaZe at this point is completely screwed if any of the claims that have been made in the Hollywood Reporter article are actually true. And I said this before, right? Um, if a single one of these things is true separately... Underage drinking for kids, illegally gambling, permanent disfigurement as a result of an injury or being pressured or encouraged for, to do dangerous stunts for YouTube videos, signing an 11-year-old kid, um, not registering as a talent agency. If any of those one things are proven true by the Labor Commission, FaZe is going to be shut down as a business. This is just the end of it. Operations. But yeah, this is why this is such a big issue, because this will set a precedent for all of esports. FaZe Clan will shut down. Because, like, this issue right here, encouraging workers to do, like, stunts, that's, like, a workers' comp issue. Like, that's going to be a whole thing. Um, the whole sign 11-year-olds, that's just outright fucking illegal. Um, the, uh, like, uh, um, the whole uh, drinking under 21, that's federally illegal, right? Illegally gambling is federally illegal. Um, the, uh, like, these are, these are federal offenses. Like, FaZe will not only shut down. If these claims are substantiated, they will also be required to pay an enormous amount of fines. Um, the CEOs will be banned from doing business ever again. And then esports as a whole will have to conform to this, uh, to, to, to this, this new medium. Uh, and, and again, I, I would say I would put it at a chance of greater than 90% that FaZe shuts down. If a ninja being like... I thought you were exaggerating before when you said 90% chance that it ends FaZe. It's 100% now. If it goes to court, it's 100%. That's my it, phase is over. There's no way that phase stays in business after this. This is just, it's already at the Labor Commission. There's no way. It'll take time, but phase will shut down. Mark my words. You can clip it, you can put it, whatever. Phase will shut down as an esports team as a result of this. There is absolutely no chance that I am wrong. Po you can post the crabs, you can play the music, do whatever you want to do. Phase will shut down, as I am telling you right now, phase will shut down as a result of this.
So you guys just heard a ton, and I mean a ton of information regarding the whole situation with FaZe Banks lying, with the whole legal actions, and keep in mind, I want to express this one more time. This guy is very, very experienced in the esports community for in general. He's a very experienced, I just want to get that out there because most people, when I first saw this guy, I was like, who is he? I did some research on him, and he's actually a professional esports guy, like I said, so I just want to stress that once again, but that's all I have for you guys in this video, is just telling you guys, a professional person's response response on this topic and also face cloaksy and whose side is actually on i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did i told you something you didn't know before i'd appreciate if you dropped a like on the video and don't forget to let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on the situation what do you think about this let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments if you guys want to stay up to date with all the information regarding this or the fortnite news make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new i'd love to have you on this channel if you guys want to support me one step further and you like my content my supporter creator code is i'm nick arg no spaces and with all that said i will talk to you guys tomorrow with a brand new upload of Fortnite news and also esports news. I cannot wait and I'll talk to you guys there. Peace.